to eat healthy, it means uh, no fast food, lots of fruits and vegetables, uh, leafy greens, um, lean proteins. Eat whole foods that aren't necessarily fried or covered in a lot of sauce or oil. Because when we work it and being on the road all the time, it's, I had no other choice but to buy, you know, but to buy outside food. So. To stay away from fatty foods. Have food that tastes well and that's nutritious. I would rather eat not like candy and stuff. I would rather eat broccoli, salad. You eat candy. Yeah. Hi, my name is Katima Bowright, and I'm a parent at Beth Stuyvesant New Beginners Charter School. I am the president of the Parent Family Organization at BSNBCS, and what we do is we try to recruit parents to come in so that we can build and um, create new activities and ideas for the community. So hopefully the, um, the cook-off and the harvest that we had here today at BSNBCS would um, help those parents to come because we want everybody and families to feel comfortable coming here. My name is Gabriella. I'm a 10th grader. This is my first year in this program and I think it's about bringing awareness about healthy eating to food insecure areas and helping the community around us. Certain areas that, where you don't have easy access to healthy foods. I know that after I joined this program, I've started um, making green smoothies at home. So I buy kale or spinach and I mix it with a bunch of other things. And I've started drinking that every time before I work out or exercise or in the mornings before I go to school. If you go to local supermarkets in this neighborhood, right? The prices are very expensive. Their, their, their fruits and vegetables taste horrible. Like, you can go in a vegetable or the fruit out and you can smell like oranges. Oh, this, this smells so sweet and delicious, but when you actually buy the fruit itself, it's watered down and it tastes disgusting. Now, in order for me to get fresh fruits and vegetables, I have to go outside of the neighborhood. And most of the times, I don't even feel like traveling or maybe I don't have the money to go or whatever the case may be. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like all supermarkets should have the same type of um, food. The prices should be lower, not too high. Why should I have to go outside my neighborhood to get fresh produce, um, fresh meat, fresh fish, or whatever? You understand what I'm saying? Everything should be here. Yes, I am concerned. Health-wise, yes. McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, because everything that they make in them restaurants, I can make at home. No white potatoes, we use sweet potatoes. You understand what I'm saying? So if I do decide to do that, that would be like a special treat. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't have money to waste on that. So if I feel like we want to have a burger, uh, I'll make a turkey burger. We have some sweet potato fries. I don't have a blender to make a milkshake or something, but we'll have some apple juice and call it a day. You understand what I'm saying? So it is with a Chinese food, that's definitely a no-no. Oh, mm -mm. no, so, um, yes, sometimes it is hard to make ends meet, but I'm not that type of person that you could keep me down. Eating healthy, financially it could be like, it can be a test, because you can't really afford to get, you know, the um, non-chemically induced chicken and, you know, things of that nature, so it's like, you know, it might cost a little bit more, but you know, that's everywhere, everywhere you go. Yeah, respect the veggies, respect the fruit, respect the animals, respect you know? your body. Give you a system a break once in a while, maybe do a juice fast, and uh, and, and you'll be fine. Do you all like McDonald's? Yeah! Yeah! Kinda. Why do you like McDonald's? Because it got salt! It's basically, um, basically just getting all of your daily nutrition's like, the five food groups is five, right? Yeah, five. Yeah. I like to eat all of that stuff instead of having things that, that will give you like rotten you teeth and cavities. I'd rather have a salad and carrots and apples and fruits.
called the Rockaway Youth Task Force. It's a youth-based organization. We basically um, focus on different problems that arise in our community and ways that we can empower the youth in order to help them, like you know, face problems in the community and problems, you know, bigger problems in the world. When we first got here, people were like, what are you guys doing? What do you mean you're making this a community garden? And after a while, once they really saw what we were doing and the impact that we were having, we've been getting positive, positive response. You've already seen where we've had people come in and actually stop and say, you know, hey, I want to be a part of this. Two people that I've talked to today just, hey, how can I be involved? And they're getting upset because there's not enough space for them and they want to become involved. So there's a bunch of different components of the garden. There's composting, so people who are members of the garden can bring food scraps or things that aren't growing in their garden, depending on if it's healthy or not, or um, you can throw away extra food um, in a productive way, um, diverting waste from landfills. We also have rainwater harvest systems to show the importance of how to be green. We have solar panels in the garden um, that's going to power the garden office and we sold everything from beets and carrots to blueberries and melons. I don't really go to fast food. I don't really I don't go to Checkers, Burger King, Wendy's, anything like that. And once the youth markets actually opened up, um, I don't know, I started eating a lot healthier. Like, cause I realized that like, cause when I was in North Carolina, um, I didn't really have to go to the store to buy anything. Cause I right down the street, there was a farm. So I could walk down the street. I could go get food if I wanted. I could go get peaches, oranges, anything like that. So when I moved to New York, it was kind of like a culture shock to me because that just wasn't available anymore. Like I wasn't able to go to the store. Like I could, but it just wasn't good. Like I wasn't able to get that. So, you know, I started, I was, you know, eating just whatever was for me. But once the youth market came, I really, you know, my eating habits, you know, definitely kind of changed a little bit where it's not, you know, eating just as much and, you know, eating less and then trying to incorporate, you know, healthier foods and stuff like that, and, you know. If you want something nutritious, you definitely have to go more farther out. Like in Manhattan, they're like lined up. But here, you most likely see like a Popeyes or Dunkin' Donuts at every corner of a Chinese food store. You don't necessarily see a community garden or somewhere you can get fresh produce at a decent price, you know? People, a lot of people have to take the bus or the train to get anything that they want. Um, I think it's possible for teenagers teenagers to be healthy, but I think it depends on what they're exposed to and what's going on at home. Um, a recent example was that I was wa walking to work one morning and I saw two young boys, probably no older than 13 or 14, riding bikes but drinking milkshakes from checkers at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. So of course they're having physical activity and they're outside, but they're drinking milkshakes. So I think that healthy eating is so much more than what you put into your body, but the amount of love that you give yourself as well. To eat healthy means um, knowing what you're eating before you eat it. When you go to a uh, supermarket, as I do, you know, I have to spend hundreds of dollars just to get the type of food I want for me and my family. But then there's these McDonald's and stuff here, you can get it like that, you know, and then you're not spending that much money. But it's, it's tearing your body up at the same time. It's a difference when you go to like white neighborhoods and you go to their supermarkets as opposed to when you go to the urban area and their supermarkets, you know. I think you have to be really conscious about, you know, the kind of food you eat and where not only, you know, what it is, but also where it comes from. What do you think is good for you? Healthy. Broccoli. He thinks eating broccoli will be healthy. What do you think for eating healthy, Myers? Would it be good or bad? Don't say candy, I know. 